वेलकम यूर वॉचिंग बिजनेस टूडे टेलीविजन आई एम साक्षी बत्रा एंड दिस इज बी टी एस दैट्स बिहाइंड द सीन्स एंड अ शो वेर वी शेयर अ स्नीक पीक ऑफ द लेटेस्ट बिजनेस टूडे मैगजीन एडिशन विद ऑल आर व्यूअर्स ज्वाइनिंग इन ऑन दिस वेरी स्पेशल एडिशन विद मी आर माई कॉलिग सुरबी द इकोनॉमी एडिटर ऑफ बिजनेस टूडे मैगजीन वे आर पलक अग्रवाल सीनियर असिस्टेंट एडिटर एंड ऑल्सो अर नव दत्ता ज्वाइनिंग इन हीज दी असिस्टेंट एडिटर ऑफ द बिजनेस टूडे मैगजीन वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर टेकिंग द टाइम आउट फॉर दिस वॉम डिस्कशन एंड नाउ टू give a quick glimpse to all of our viewers of the latest copy that i already have in my hands you see swami ramdev right on the cover and the cover story aims to really find out what exactly is going to be patanjali's new formula and uh, the growth uh, story from here on as well so let's start off with the cover story and arnab here has written the cover story uh, he's been uh, speaking to swami ramdev uh, the co-founders the uh, people at uh, the patanjali factory and of course really trying to understand what is really happening at the space uh, amidst the new churn that's happening mergers acquisitions within the space also happening as well uh do tell us arna what exactly is patanjali's new formula what is the story uh, and what are you aiming to decode here and what are the challenges especially that patanjali group is facing right now so practically the group that was growing at a fast clip earlier between 2020 15 and 2018 19 we all know that it used to grow at 50 60 70% yeah. but after uh, since it acquired uh, patanjali foods which was earlier basically ruchi so had this piece from Uh, insolvency and bankruptcy court so its growth rate has uh, come down significantly in fact in fy 2024 uh, the growth rate was flat i mean the, 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 there was no revenue growth for patanjali foods and the overall group growth rate was only 5 to 6% so uh, now the company is trying to basically overcome this obstacle there are multiple obstacles that they are facing and ramdev has come up with a new plan to overcome uh, the obstacles and uh, take it to the new growth path that it's requests required now so that is what the story basically tries to decode right uh, so arnab has potentially lost its seam and uh, given that its growth rate has fallen like you're pointing out uh, the two co-founders facing the supreme court's wrath as well uh, how are you really looking at the current scenario so practically there are multiple challenges that they are facing first of all their top line growth has come down and it is almost <laughs> flat now at the group level secondly the profitability has also been under stress because once uh, they acquired ruchi soya which is a large company it has a revenue of 31 32000 crores uh, on an average but the issue is that uh, the 70 80% of this portfolio is edible oils which is traditionally a very low margin business and it is very difficult to grow be, uh, its margin beyond 2 to 3% even if you look at the market leader adani wilbur which holds almost 20% of the india's edible oil market their uh, net profit margin is only 2.3% so that is one of the challenges that now the company is facing so uh, and secondly now we all know what happened at the supreme court and the court uh, didn't like what uh, the patanjali was trying to argue over its advertisement and its claim that finally the co-founders had to apologize unconditionally to the supreme court bench and thirdly the problem uh, with patanjali right now is that it is trying to reorganize its business so currently it's in a transition phase so these are the challenges that the patanjali is facing but uh, ramdev uh, mr ramdev being uh, ramdev is that he always tries to uh, uh, change the course of the game and uh, in spite of the group being under stress he has now set a new target of 1 lakh crore yearly group revenue by 2028 and he wants to become the largest consumer player in india beating even hindustan unilever so uh, so so that that is how how it is right now please okay but on up what exactly is swami ramdev's uh, game plan now for achieving the new target of 1 lakh crore rupees group sales which they've mentioned by 2028 so swami ramdev is trying to do a few things to change the uh, basically trajectory of the company's growth right now first of all what they are doing right now is that a uh, couple of years ago when they purchased uh, ruchi so after purchasing ruchi so they basically transferred the uh, packaged food business from patanjali ayurved to ruchi so industries and renamed the name the company to patanjali foods uh, that was a move which was a long term move and this is the second phase of the move that is now coming up what they are planning to do is that they are now planning to transfer the home and personal care portfolio of patanjali uh, ayurveda to patanjali foods 
and th this is a concerted effort and it has a strategy because the strategy is basically to bring down the share of edible oil contribution to the top line of the company so why he is trying to do that is that basically if the edible oil contribution to the top line of the company comes down then the margins improve and the growth rates also go up because edible oil business is highly volatile and it depends on the market, international market prices which is where you don't have any leverage in terms of pricing but in case of home and personal care portfolio where they have very strong brands like sondarya uh, dant kanti in oral care and then uh, kesh kanti in hair hair care they have a pricing power so that is why he is trying for transferring the portfolio to the uh, patanjali foods so that they can generate more value to the investors secondly he is also looking for for new acquisitions in the consumer facing sector not exactly in consumer goods maybe but he, he is not ready to reveal right now which of the sectors he is looking into but to increase the growth, overall uh, revenue of the group which is around 43 45000 crore right now to 1 lakh crore you need inorganic acquisitions right otherwise you cannot you have to grow 20% a year for four years to achieve 1 lakh crore which is not possible practically in current market circumstances so uh, these are the things that uh, ramdev has in mind right now and let's see how it unfolds over the next 2 to 3 years but definitely the things are going to be very interesting and action packed at patanjali absolutely arnav and uh, rightly said uh, you know whether his new game plan really works or not for the entire patanjali group is for us uh, to only see and time will only tell that but uh, clearly uh, there is never a dull moment uh, when it comes to patanjali group and the way it is facing competition right now and that is something that's going to be interesting as it unfolds as well let's go on viewers to now really understand uh, one of the other important stories that is covered in the latest edition and that is with respect to the small and medium enterprises clearly now remember that these uh, industries and the small and medium enterprises are trying to turn a corner after covid-19 because this was the sector that was a uh, worst hit when it came to covid-19 pandemic now but there are several challenges that they continue to face even now and that needs to be addressed on priority to really get uh, the growth engine firing so we right here has uh, written an important story with respect to the msmes and of course it will be very important to really see whether this uh, industry and sector will be extremely important and uh, find favor with the government in the upcoming budget as well so sir we uh, msmes can be a huge source of uh, employment generation what is really expected in the union budget for this sector So thanks, Takshi. As you pointed out, MSMEs are a huge source of employment generation. In fact, apart from the farm sector, they're the second largest employers in the country. So <clears throat> when you look at recent data from the NSO on the on, um, informal sector enterprises, what we see is that while the number of MSMEs in the country has grown post the pandemic, in terms of employment generation, it still remains lower than you know the 2015-16 data. so <clears throat> msmes will clearly be a focus area and the expectation and some of the suggestions that have gone on in the pre budget consultations focus around msmes whether you know we should have production linked incentives around msmes or um, so that you know there can be more investments in these or whether we should have more you know domestic production and <clears throat> easier funding for msmes so these are some of the sec issues being taken up in the pre budget discussions also another important issue that msmes have been facing is a change in the finance act on you know the payments under which payments to these um, companies have to be made between within a 45 day period failing that the company which has bought products or services from the msme they have to pay additional tax on that so it's led to a lot of confusion in the sector with many companies saying that you know they propose a lot of contracts are being cancelled and things like that so that's another issue which the government is going to hopefully take up in the union budget on july 23 okay but are there any further measures that could be expected in the budget especially when it comes to employment creation within this space or be yeah so employment is i think one of the main issues which the union budget is going to take up especially because it was also an issue in the general elections and while overall when we see the employment unemployment numbers have been coming down when we look at more granular data um, it seems that wage employment which is see, uh, considered to be one of the you know 
ideal sources of employment that's been going down in several uh, agencies in the recent past and reports including the world bank have warned that you know there continues to be a problem of unemployment in india and you know we have to do something because our demographic dividend can very soon turn into a problem so what, this has also been an issue in the pre budget um, conversations and discussions and industry as well as uh, trade unions and you know other experts economists have spoken on this issue and some of the things that possibly could be introduced in the union budget is a review like i said of the pli scheme then there's also expectation that the apprenticeship scheme may be tweaked for skilling so that uh, more uh, youth are taken in part of this then there's also demand for by trade unions that uh, you know central uh, sector government vacancy should be filled up and interestingly there have also been suggestions around a robot tax that could perhaps be imposed on companies that are using ai and which is leading to job losses okay got that so that is going to be extremely interesting that's a new point that we will be looking forward to in the upcoming budget because something like this has never been discussed even before so something very very interesting coming in let's now go across and have uh, palak agrawal uh, you know into the conversation as well palak uh, Uh, morning and i wanted to understand you know just like how surbhi also pointed out this sector definitely contributes a large chunk of both the gdp exports it is a big employment generator as well but you know when it comes to the financing aspect that is where the problem really lies these uh, industries sectors have been facing uh an uphill task when it comes to raising money could you give us a sense of uh, why are private investors truly not really investing in this sector yeah hi sakshi so uh, uh msmes uh, so if we look at the data they face uh, around a 530 billion dollar credit gap and it's a huge gra- uh, gap which needs to be filled and uh, lending because msmes for them uh, the only way out is to you know uh, uh, you know for uh, taking up loans but banks are also hesitant uh, and uh, if you look at the private uh, private investments the vc funds the vcs are not uh, really interested in uh, investing in msmes given uh, uh, their take that they lack innovation uh, they lack the tech aspect to it uh, so that's why it's becoming very hard for msmes to raise private money and for the vc ecosystem to you know give them investments so it's primarily uh, due to uh, the lack in the innovation but that's also it's a, it's a chicken and egg situation because uh, they don't have money to be that tech savvy to be that innovative and uh, with the lack of money they cannot do that so it's a very dwindling situation for them Absolutely. And so, uh, what could be the way out? How can MSMEs really navigate the money crunch they're facing right now? So, there are a lot of talks happening uh, right now uh, uh, because, uh, as, uh, as as I mentioned, that VC VC ecosystem is a little hesitant in that. But then there comes uh, the private equity investments, uh, which you know uh, there are talks happening that maybe uh, in the upcoming budget, uh, many state governments would collaborate. uh with uh the private equity firms to have a sufficient fund base for the msme ecosystem uh which is uh, which is uh, how they will be able to navigate the f- uh, financing problems which they have so private e- private equity players will uh, or can play a major role here to you know help msmes come out of their financial crunch right uh, could you also tell us with respect to upcoming budget especially when it comes to that 45 day payment cycle is there anything that could we uh, be expecting pala yeah so 45 day payment rule uh, although it was when it was announced it was announced to give uh, uh, you know a relief to msmes because of the delay in payments they face and again uh, that's uh, that uh, counts on their money crunch they lack the working capital but uh, this also caused many msmes cancelling their certificates because uh, they are not getting orders as large enterprises are forced to pay them uh, within the 45 day payment uh, 45 day uh, time so in the upcoming budget there are a lot of uh, talks there are things that uh, the 45 day payment rule will be implemented but with some tweaks so that it can help uh, enterprises like both the large as well as the micro ones 
to you know come in a mutual uh, uh, you know way out and sort this issue of delay payments all right well thank you so much palak for getting us all those details surbi arnab thanks to you too uh, for uh, you know bringing in so, uh, so many insights from this edition that will really help and uh, enlighten all our viewers and readers as well viewers to all of you please do go out there and grab your editions and copies that are already on the stands and this is one copy that you do not want to miss a lot going on here from patanjali group to even expectations for various sectors from the upcoming budget you have a lot more to really seep in from this one many thanks for tuning in on to this special edition of business today television on pts but do stay tuned as the action will continue on the other side